What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. Today, guys, is going to be another day in the life with Anthony. As you guys saw, I started my day off with some breakfast, some potatoes, eggs, onions, peppers, garlic. It was tasty, but not my most tastiest breakfast that I've had. Um, I much prefer my basic breakfast, which is my oatmeal. I bought some blueberries. I now put some blueberries in my oatmeal, and that's what I've been going uh, having for breakfast. That's my go-to breakfast. It's quick and delicious and a little healthier for you. All right, but before I get into the day and start running my errands because I have a couple errands that I must get done today. I am going to make a very simple banana pudding. In the comment section, Thomasina had mentioned that Anthony, those bananas would make a good banana pudding before they get even, you know, more rotten <laughs> day by day. I'm going to make myself a very simple banana pudding. I wanted to do it before I get the going so I can put it in the refrigerator. All right, very simple, 666 six, six ingredients. The bananas, two cups of milk, some vanilla jello pudding, some Cool Whip, some vanilla wafers, why did they change the name to Nilla Wafers? Now, I might be late. I know I'm late. I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna say I might be late. I know I'm late on. Just like I was late on them changing Uncle Ben's to Ben's. So, I noticed when I was looking up some recipes on YouTube that they was just saying Nilla Wafers and not saying Vanilla Wafers. Anybody know the story behind that? Because I don't. Because the Great Value va uh, brand is still saying Vanilla Wafers. So, who knows, who knows, who knows? Or maybe they were all, all, always called Nilla Wafers. No, I don't think they were always called Nilla Wafers. I remember them being Vanilla Wafers. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you know the answer to that. Also, I decided that I wanted me some chopped walnuts all, all through. I'm not just gonna put it on top, I'm gonna put it all through. This is gonna be really good. All right. This is what I'm going to make because I don't need to make a whole lot of it. I don't need a whole bunch of sweets hanging around here. So I'm just gonna make this simple little dish here and all of these ingredients should be more than enough to fill this little pan up. Okay, we're gonna get started here with the, the pudding because the last part after the pudding is done is to just assemble everything. So let's start with this pudding. And this recipe calls for two cups of cold milk. I don't know how cold my milk is going to be, but now most of the recipes that I saw online, they were using like vanilla, French, the French vanilla. But I already had that, so I wasn't going to buy another one. All right, we're going to do ah, two cups of milk. I looked it up when I was at Walmart. This is this says this is a pint. So I looked it up when I was at Walmart and asked how many cups uh, are in a pint, and it said two cups. I had two of these at first, and then when I looked that up and it said two cups for one, I put one back. That seems like a lot. That seems like a lot. I like the color of it. Alright. I need a little blender. I do have one for the courses back in Florida. I 
think you're supposed to keep on staring this staring staring okay i say this word wrong all the time i say steering like steering a car but y'all know what i mean somebody 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 thought it was funny because the last time i said it they 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 cracked up they said anthony steering steering the pot like a car <laughs> but y'all don't want to be up close Ew. oh yeah i can feel it's getting thicker where's my mixer when i need it oh it is really getting thicker too Woohoo! oh yeah this is getting thicker i don't want to dump it out Alrighty, let's hit it. I need a new whisk. I think I'm gonna put that on my list. Put your back into it, Anthony. You can do it, put your back into it. Remember Ice Cube song? Switch over to the left hand. To the right hand. <laughs> so, so I feel like I got arthritis. <laughs> Woo. Okay, do you need an egg in this? I'm wondering, do you do I need an egg? Nope. No egg. Just gotta put some manual labor into it, Anthony. Just gotta put some manual labor into it. My neighbors are about to leave. They packing it up. It must have been like a rainstorm last night. I slept through it. I ain't hear nothing. I woke up. The mannequin. The hat flew off the head. <laughs> it was all wet and carried on. Everything was all wet. And that was crazy because I did not hear not one thing. I slept really good last night. Okay. Now we're going to mix in some of this Cool Whip. I hope this makes it thicker and not thinner. Well, the weekend festivities are over. I survived another weekend. I haven't been doing anything since I've been here. I think I only went out one night since I went up to the um, ooh, the pool hall. All right, let's put some of this in there. I wanna, 
I want to fold this in. I don't want to mix it like I was mixing it before I put the Cool Whip in there. I want to fold it, fold it in. Might have been a little bit too much. Hopefully when I put it in the refrigerator, guys I don't know don't know don't know Whew. it like Okay, the best thing I can hope for now is that when I put it in the refrigerator, it will it will set. Ah. That it will set itself. So let's hope, cross the fingers, that it does that. Because that probably was a little too much of the Cool Whip. But that's okay. That's okay. I have faith that it's gonna. Oh, I got this one right. <laughs> All right, let's uh, back you guys up a little bit so we can get the gutting on these nanas. I don't know how many of these nanas I'm gonna need. So we're gonna do one 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 nana at a time, okay? One nana at a time. Let's get into these. All righty. We're going to start with the bottom layer, which is going to be some of the Nilla. The Nilla. <laughs> the Nilla wafers. Let me turn y'all around just a tad bit this way. With no broken ones. Okay, that's a nice little bit there. I don't know what order I'm supposed to put these in. Is there a specific order you should put these in? I know the bottom one, of course, should be the, the cookies.
Okay, they look nice. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Don't ask me why. Cause I don't know. Okay. Okay. Looking mighty good though. Looking mighty good though. Manager, uh, banana pudding. Oh, hey. Man, these are already chopped up, so I'm not even gonna chop them. Oh, Anthony. when my hands are slippery. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, second layer of cookies. This looks delicious. I'm not even going to lie. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and I can't fly. Wowzer. Woo-wee. I'm not even going to lie. This is definitely going to be delicious. Let me just give you guys a look so far. Look at that. I don't know why I always say that to y'all. Look at that. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Look at that. Oh, it smells so good.
my gravy. Look at that. Here I go again telling y'all to look. Oh my gosh. That looks so amazing. So amazing. All right, guys. I'm going to put some aluminum foil on the top of that. I don't have any clear wrap. I wish I did, but I don't. So I'm going to put a piece of aluminum foil on it. I'm going to try not to smash it down. Uh, let the aluminum foil touch the top. I'm going to try not to do that. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, and I'll see you guys a little later on in the day after I finish running my errands. Okay, when I did my cleaning video, a lot of you guys said that the dirty patch that was right here in the ceiling came from the air conditioner. So I'm going to try to open this up and change the filter. Not change the filter because I don't have another filter, but at least clean it. So that's what I'm about to do right now. This is also a good thing to do because I can now hopefully get an idea of how this air conditioner is situated in here and would it be easy or not so easy to replace this air conditioner if something was to go wrong with this one. Still have not gotten my uh, hot water heater fixed yet. I have pro been procrastinating on calling those people because I did call a dealership about a week ago and they gave me a number to call and get uh, I guess a repair person that's near this area where I am all right that came off pretty easy uh -oh. don't want to lose nothing okay let's see Okay, I'm guessing that this is the filter right here because it does look pretty dirty there. I don't know if this can come out. Let me see. Because I don't want to do anything or break anything. Okay, I don't think that it comes off. But see the way it is? Yeah, it doesn't look like it comes all the way out. It looks like you can, it just pops up like this and you can clean it, you can clean it and then put it back down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use this because it has like a bristle and I think it'll not sure if this is gonna work or not.
this stuff is on here. It is coming clean. It is coming clean, but I gotta get down in the, the third section of it. We'll see. All right, guys, that's a wrap on that project. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and head to the post office and try to figure out, or not figure out, but ask them how can I have my mail from my mail service in Florida sent to them and I go and pick it up from there. I tried to put in the address to the campground, but for some reason my mail service uh, down in Florida is not accepting this address. So I'm just gonna see if I can have the mail sent to the post office and hopefully the mail service down in Florida will accept the post office address. If not, I'm going to call the mail service down in Florida and ask them what's going on. I'm supposed to be able to have my mail shipped to me anywhere that I am, but it's not accepting this address or this address. So let's head to the post office and try to get some answers or at least start the process of trying to get some answers. All 
All right, guys, I am back from the post office. I explained to the post office worker what I was trying to do. I told her that I was trying to have my mail sent from Florida to the campground, but for some reason it's not accepting the post, uh, the campground um, address. So she asked me what campground and I told her um, Freedom Valley. And she thought it was weird that it's not accepting the address. But she told me, she wrote it down for me. She just told me to put my name, the name of the campground, dash, the name of the campground. Then in the address line, she told me just write general delivery. And then New London, Ohio and the zip code. And the mail is going to come to the post office. And she said she will send it to me at the campground, here at the campground. So I don't know why, I don't know why our post to one is not accepting the campground address. I, I really don't. But at least I, I know that there is an alternative way of me getting my mail if this was to happen to me when I go to another campground, etc. I know how to handle it and know that I can still get my mail because that would not be good if I cannot get my mail because they only hold the mail and I post to one for I think a month. I don't know what they do with it after a month if a person has not either picked it up or having it shipped somewhere. But again, at least I know how to handle the situation if I get to the next campground or the next campground and the address is not being accepted by I post to one. All right, guys, before I try this banana pudding, I want to make an announcement that I am going to be having a Cleveland, Ohio meetup. It will be held on Sunday, July the 14th at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, it's, I can't think of the mall that it's going to be at because somebody, Kim, suggested that I have it at, um, I think it's called the Food Court Mall or something of that nature. When I get the correct name, I'll uh, pass that on to you guys. But for now, it's definitely going to be on Sunday, July the 14th at 2 p.m. All right. So now let's get into this banana pudding that I made. Woohoo! Let's see. All righty. Look at, I just can't get over how this looks. This has been in the refrigerator now for a minute. This has been in the refrigerator for a minute. Oh my goodness, let's see. Look at that. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my gravy. Let's try this banana pudding. Y'all see that I was blowing it. <laughs> it's not hot, Anthony. It's cold. Oh my heavens. Oh my heavens. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. This is absolutely delicious. Oh my God. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mmm. 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 Oh, my. Wow, that. This is so freaking good. Wowza. Mm, 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 mm. 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 I gotta put that down because I gotta do a little dance. Mm. Woo! <clears throat> It's not too sweet because I know a lot of people use that like condensed, unsweetened condensed milk, but that milk is really, really sweet. I don't care. They got unsweetened on it, but it's really sweet. But I didn't use that. I just used regular whole milk and the, uh, the Jello, vanilla Jello. I mean, the vanilla pudding. Where I keep getting Jello from? Vanilla pudding. Ah, it's the right sweetness. Oh, th this is good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Woo. Got my sweets for the next two or three days. Mm -hmm, one more. All righty. This is, this is delicious. And you can't get no more simpler than this when you're making a dessert. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I love the addition of the walnuts all in between. So good. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I need something to drink now. I need something to drink now. Ah. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I will leave the link, not link. But I will leave the information in the description for the Cleveland meetup. <clears throat> oh, that is so good. Mm. Oh. That is so good. <laughs> I can't help it. Out of sight, out of mind. Hopefully. Oh, that was so good. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I really like this shirt. I believe. I really like this shirt. All right, guys.